So if I disappear, I'll be on Twitch. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends 80 Years Fan Channel exclusive 2-pack of X-Factors, Havoc, and Polaris. If you're trying to get your Marvel Legends, you can do so at Big, Big, Big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. And I gotta give a big thanks to Panda Los Muertos for finding this out in the wild and letting me buy this off him. I really appreciate your hunting skills, brother. Thank you so much. And we get some nice packaging artwork right over here. I really dig this a lot. I love this theme. Very early 90s right here, reminding me of the trading cards. You get a spot varnished X-Men right over there. It says Marvel's Havoc. Marvel's Polaris, 80 years right over there. And then we get the images from the trading cards right here on the side. And then on the back, you can see those images again. And then there's these little quick bios on each of them right over here. So if you want to read those, go ahead and pause it right now. You can see their power levels and whatnot. And then there's a mini read up over here that just says the artwork on this package is inspired by the iconic trading cards from the early 90s. On this side, you can see the characters again from those trading cards and then on the very top we get these very cool mini X's and then you get the spot varnished yellow X right here not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack these things open and here's our 90s X Factor Havoc and Polaris figures out of the packaging and I gotta say man I am stoked to have these I've been waiting for this for so long the Polaris actually impresses me more than I originally thought it would I mean that hair alone looks great man but anyway uh, we get some reused accessories over here that we've seen several times many many times so let's get a closer look look at those and then we'll take a closer look at the figures. So here's all the accessories that we get in this two pack set. We get accessories for Havoc and accessories for Polaris. I really do feel like this effect piece right here was created for Havoc. I mean it just looks so specific to Havoc you know with the Kirby Crackle and all that but the yellow looks pretty good. I guess this is the kind of effect color uh, that we see for his energy projection and everything when he has uh, the 90s X Factor suit. I prefer the blue though you know so I think this just looks or works better for Havoc anyway. I just prefer seeing the blue especially because Cyclops has a red but hey this works too so it looks pretty good it has a nice metallic sheen to it and then for Polaris we get two sets of hands I love that we get these wide open hands right here plus the fisted hands so having interchangeable hands for the female character makes me very happy I'm glad to have this then we get a much uh, saturated green color right here especially compared to the green effects that we've gotten for the previous Polaris figure so I'm happy to get this right here it matches her hair color a whole lot better and I just think it looks a whole lot better too so I'm very pleased with these so while this is not my absolute favorite look for Polaris, I do really like it a lot and I love seeing her in these X-Factor colors with her X-Factor curly curly hair and I think it looks absolutely fantastic so I'm very happy to see that. I also like that the face sculpt resembles the previous Polaris figure so it does look like the same person just with different hair so that makes me very happy. Even though we get green eyes on this one, we don't have the green eyes on this one uh, but still man I absolutely love how this came out. I mean look at that flesh tone looks really clean, again the lips look really good, the eyebrows are great. I love this bright, vibrant green color. I love that you could see multiple colors of green. Well, two different colors of green right here, but man, the sculpt is amazing. Uh, there is a seam coming through the top, which, you know, doesn't stand out that bad, but I do notice it from time to time, so that could be a little bit irksome. Now, the body is really based on the Kate Bishop body mold, but they did add a new upper torso and upper arms, which look great. I think the sculpt for the shoulders looks great. I like that, and I like the paint deco right over here. It looks a little fuzzy on the left side, but you know for the most part it looks really good. I do like it. Uh, the belt isn't like fully wrapped around above her waist as we'd seen in the 90s but it looks good around the hips the way we see it right over here. And then the little wristlets and anklets you know those can be shifted around and everything but they stay in place a whole lot better than on the male figures. And of course the figure still has peg holes at the bottom of the feet. For the Polaris articulation you do get a little bit of the shifting forward and back with the neck right there. Uh, she has so much hair and she has a disc hinge right here so you can get her looking up just a little bit which is actually pretty amazing with how much hair we have back there. Uh, you can't move the head down very far as well due to that shifting forward and back you get the side to side motion and head tilting right there. Shoulders look really good they can move all the way up 
which is fantastic. You can move him down, you can rotate a full 360. You get a single jointed elbow, but it does bend in more than 90 degrees, so I'm okay with that. And you get an elbow swivel right there, and you get a swivel at the wrist, and both hands hinge up and down. You get a diaphragm joint, you get diaphragm articulation, she'll crunch forward, she'll crunch back. Hips move outward that much, she'll kick forward that much, and back only a tiny bit, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees, and then the ankles move down, they move up, and she has beautiful ankle pivot. <laughs> So I always really liked this look for Havoc, and I have wanted to have this in action figure form for so many years. I always felt like Alex Summers was the bigger jerk of the two Summers brothers, right? Or of the three Summers brothers, I guess. But anyway, I really love how the head sculpt came out on this. It looks awesome, man. I'm really, really happy with this head mask. It looks great. The eyebrows, the facial expression. It looks mean. I like the eyes over here. A little bit of a touch of extra white paint, I guess. But the hair looks really good. I like how it's wafting off to the side. Nice paint detail in the hair. So I'm very pleased with that. Looks great, man. I'm very, very happy with this. Uh, it could be a little cleaner around that left ear, but still not bad. And as far as the rest of the figure goes, they utilize mostly the Bucky Cap body mold, but I love the jacket over here, man. The blue over black looks really good. I really like it. I like how there's this peg system right over here too, so that works out pretty well for me. The quilted pattern and the zipper looks really good. I'm happy with that. And I love that we get these new wrinkly jacket arms with double joint elbows. Uh, we'll get into the articulation soon, but I'm so happy to see that. And then we do get some blue over black on the back, so that's cool to see that as well. Now seeing the arm transition into the wrist to the glove, that looks a little gappy to me, but I do like how the paint came out for the fingerless gloves. And fairly clean torso paint over here, I'm pretty happy with that. And the belt straps are all loose like how they were on the Jim Lee Cyclops figure. They move around, and we do get peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So we get great articulation on Havoc. You can move the head up very far, and I like that the jacket's made out of a fairly soft material. You can't move the head down that much. You get side to side motion, you get shift forward a little bit right over there like a pile driver, so you get a little bit of head wobbling there too. I love these new arms right here. You get shoulders that move outward, they can move down, rotate a full 360, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, that looks great, and then both wrists turn side to side and hinge up and down. I'm gonna unpeg the jacket and you can move the joint right there at the abs forward that much, back that much, waist swivel, hips move outward, you'll kick forward that much, back a little bit, up with thigh cut, double jointed knees, boot rotation, ankles move down, ankles move up, and he has beautiful ankle pivot. I may just super glue these straps to the figure, this is kind of annoying. So to measure out these two figures, you can see that Polaris is standing just over six inches tall, and we have Havoc just under six and a half inches tall. I guess Havoc could be a little bit taller, I guess, right? I don't know, he seems a little on the short side to me, but not too bad. And then for Polaris comparison, we have this X-Factor 2 pack version next to the wave Polaris right over there and to see a head swap this actually looks pretty good I like this right over here I think this looks pretty awesome uh, you know this doesn't really work out you do see her with the straight hair uh, with a very similar suit to this in the comics if I were to keep one swapped like this I think I'd probably stay with this one I like that a lot and then for a Havoc comparison we have our classic Havoc from Toy Biz and then we have our contemporary Havoc from Hasbro right here and out of the three of these uh, these two I like the most I really like both of these a lot I don't know to have a Hasbro version of the classic Havoc would be really cool. For right now, I am super happy to have this one. And then for a Summers Brothers comparison, we have Havoc next to Cyclops, and these fit in very well together. Seeing them side by side like that makes me very happy. I like these 90s versions right here. And by the way, I do have the Love Triangle 3 pack on pre order. I'm hoping I get that a lot sooner than later. And then for an X Factor figure comparison, we have Multiple Man and Quicksilver right over here next to Havoc and Polaris, and these four fit in very well together. I'm very excited about this. Cannot wait for a Wolf's Bane, and I am super excited about that strong. Guy. And then here's Havoc and Polaris next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends big time badass Spider Man. We've got some nice green hair. Kind of goes with my nice green suit, huh? Maybe the two of us should be together. Forget that guy, huh? <laughs> uh. Okay, I get it. You're badass. Keep him. So I really like both of these figures a lot, man. I'm so happy that Hasbro made these. I really have very little gripes at all. Seriously, like, I'm just stoked that these exist. They look fantastic. They have a lot of reused parts, but there's a lot of new parts involved as well. I have minor gripes here and there, but they are extremely minor. And at the price point of around 40 to 50 bucks, I'm giving this two-pack set a sub rating of... <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. 
And I'd like to know what you guys think, so please let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button if you liked this video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell if you have not already. A big thanks to all these people over here that support this on Patreon. It really goes a long way, especially in these times of fear right here, because we don't know what's happening in 2020, so I really appreciate it, you guys. If you're interested in supporting, check the link in the description below. I encourage you to do so. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, be sure to check out MarvelousNews.com, and don't forget to follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. Definitely follow me over on Twitch, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.